building a cupboard here um, so the idea is the cupboard goes up has on the design so we're just building out the bottom of it first to get a bit of a frame together um, and then we'll look at maybe getting a side panel and and go from there i just left a gap here so a side panel can go on um, and i've also added a bit of wood here in line with this so i can put a side panel on here so we're just sort of doing little touches like that as we go along and just bearing in mind that for example little gap there so the bed sliding doesn't get affected by this cupboard and just little things like that we're trying to bear in mind all the way through the first upright in on the cupboards I had to cut a curve just to follow the the line of the wall and i got a bit of wood i've seen this done elsewhere basically all you do is you get a bit of wood cut it to a, a relative flat point and then uh, stick a pen through it and then what you can do is you can use that to you can rub it along the wall of the van and it will draw the line that you want to mark onto your wood um, and I basically did that so to create the curve there screw in just to support it and then leveled it up both ways um, and I've got it screwed and glued in there so that's quite nice and then what i'll do is i'll just another one along here drop down and then start building out the uh the skeleton for this cupboard unit i've built this unit up um with the idea i did have a plan of having Bottom section here, the, the cool box comes out, um, and then a little shelf, and then have the whole unit step in, um, and then have a couple more bits of storage on top. But basically, I've looked at it, and we decided that basically, if you had a cupboard in the top here, it's just way too deep. So, what we think we're going to do is lower this down. To just level with the cool box and then step the unit in and then have less deep storage all the way up because then you can actually access it as opposed to being really deep and not being able to get anything at the back i'm also thinking on the side here which is this side here to have like a table fold down so if you want to do a bit of alfresco dining or cooking or whatever then you have a table hinged down off that side wall basically at the moment we're just sort of experimenting and slash making stuff up on the spot to try and work out what we're doing with storage. We're just building up this unit, um, cut some shelves, so that one's here and they're cut to sit around the uh, they're notched out to sit around the posts the unit's built now and i've put all the shelves in so they're all notched out i've put them all in uh, and they all fit nicely so i'm going to take them out and paint them all and then i can screw them in i got the pieces of the cabinet laid out so i'm just doing a bit of painting i got all the shelves here which i've done light gray and then i'm gonna see what paint the shops have got if i can get any and a bit of an experiment on one of the pieces there um so yeah just got it all laid out now i've mocked it all up and i'm happy with it i can paint it and then should be good to put it all together day four of cabinet making we're out here still painting um, we're doing some experiments with some colours. So you've got this bit sort of gone for like a, it's called duck egg or duck shell or something. Um, this sort of pastel blue kind of colour. We did white undercoat and then put the blue on and then sanded it back a bit to give it that effect. And um, we tried it with different colours. So we've got like some dark blue here, but uh, I think this is the one we're going to go for. Um, so yeah, we're just doing the undercoat on the wood. Um, and then we'll get some paint down the wood because it's bare wood uh, we're doing a wood primer 
then an undercoat, then sanding it, and then we're putting our colour on top. I've got the shelves in now, so they're all painted, and we've put them in and made sure there's no overhangs or, and they all fit nicely. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and screw them down now. So we're just going to put some uh, 20 mil screws through the shelves into the batten, and they'll be screwed in place. On these cupboard doors, it's uh, pretty important they get a nice straight cut. Uh, so what I've done is on my uh, circular saw, measured the distance from the edge here to the, to the blade, um, and then I've marked which is 30 mil. And then I've I've got this 30 mil uh, away from the edge, so I want to cut along this little line, this thin line here. So I've marked 30 mil from that line, and then clamped this bit of two by two in place. And then what I'll do is run the uh, circular saw, pressing it against that, and that should ensure a nice straight cut. All my panels here are now painted, sanded, and ready to go in. So I'm just gonna dust them off and then take them into the van one by one and get them screwed in. Fingers crossed it looks all right. Then, so I've cut them all, uh, they all fit nicely, just templated off the old bit and I just think that looks so much nicer, it's worth taking the time to do it. So I'm going to paint those and you can get it all matching. Uh, I've got strips to go around here and tidy up those edges. Um, so I'm going to give it this sort of grey uh, battered effect, sort of weathered, worn down, antique, whatever you want to call it. Um, going to give that a look on there and hopefully that will look really nice. Finally got the new cladding on this side um, and it looks 400 million times better than what it did before. This is the old setup, obviously not apart from those bits that tie it together, that's how I used to template it, but yeah, 4,000 times better. We've taken some drastic action, I really wasn't happy with this unit so it's been taken out and we're going to do some modifications and try and figure out a nice way of doing it because compared to that side it just looks so rubbish so i'm um, round two of attempting to make cupboard doors for this after the first abysmal attempt basically what i've got is a single sheet of plywood that fits on there and i've marked out cupboard doors which i'm going to cut out of here um, and then use butt hinges and they'll they'll sit then flush within itself and also this will hide all of the nasty edge there. So basically started with my started with a cardboard template and then moved on to plywood, cut it the size of the uh, of the fit of the unit there and marked out my doors in accordance with the shelves spacing and stuff like that. So what I've got to do now is drill a little hole um, and then what I'll do is go around just with a jigsaw um, and cut out the, the doors there. Got my uh, frame or surround, whatever you want to call it, got that cut out. Um, got the doors cut out. So basically that's going to go in there and finish up all that edge. And you can see that that tidies it up so nicely and gives us, gonna give us some flush cupboard doors, which I'm happy about. So I'm just gonna sort all the hinges out, get all the doors working, all the catches on, in a place where I'm happy, and then I can paint it. You can see here the uh, skipping right ahead, the finished um, cupboard unit. Basically, all I did was I took my um, wooden, wooden outer frame and the cupboard doors. Um, that I cut out with a jigsaw and gave it all a lick of paint cut this out with a jigsaw as well, it's like a little handle um, and then literally plonked them all in and then just screwed these butt hinges in um, and then uh, sliding bolts, sliding catches there and it's as simple as that it's a really nice easy sort of hinge system because it's literally external butt hinges um, little 25mm ones there 
um, and then the doors are flush and I mean my god that's four billion times better than what it looked like before I'm not even gonna show but um, let's just say it's not even worth looking at before just another view of the uh, cladding that I did and then painted different colors and the unit there much happier with how that's turned out much happier much better than before thanks for watching see you in the next one